We've been here supporting sort of uh, mental health and wellness for people since the evacuation and when people, uh, the first responders. So uh, we've been seeing a variety of people from first responders through to the return of residents and a variety of issues. Some of those are issues that would have presented prior to the fire. Some of those are things like stress, uncertainty, uh, grief and loss, uh, those sorts of issues. We've had 8,669 contacts since, since the evacuation. We have parents asking questions about how to, uh, you know, talk to their children about uh, the incident, about the fire, about, uh, you know, the, the destruction or devastation that they see. Uh, we've had people coming that, uh, you know, have been here for a while uh, working and are, uh, you know, they're emotionally uh, tired. Uh, so looking for some strategies to manage stress. Uh, certainly people in uh, distress uh, because of their loss. Uh, that's generally sort of what we're seeing. Everybody will respond to this or deal with this differently. We all have our own sort of experiences and ways of coping. So, you know, it, it's hard to say who's more or less affected and are we going to see more or less people at a, a certain time. We have a walk-in service that's available now seven days a week from 8 in the morning till 11.15 at night. And we have enough staff to spend the time that people need. We have staff that will go out and support them. We have staff that will stay in the office. Uh, you know, we, I think we're pretty well resourced to support uh, the needs of the people presenting. We have this short-term strategy and certainly working in partnership with Alberta Health and the government to develop a longer term strategy because we know this isn't sort of going to be done and over with in a week or a month. This is uh, an event that that is outside of a normal experience and so it's understandable to have uh, reactions to that. Most people will manage those reactions with supports from their friends and family and resources. Uh, there may be people that a small uh, percentage of people that will develop some clinically significant symptoms. I mean, they could be a whole range of things. Uh, if people, uh, after a period of weeks, if their sleep is interrupted, uh, if that normal sort of day-to-day -day functioning is impaired, then I would encourage them to reach out to their physician, call our clinics, and sort of talk to us about those particular symptoms. My experience of Fort McMurray is certainly people are uh, independent and, and resilient and uh, um, I haven't found that that means they're not accessing the supports they need. Uh, tough doesn't mean sort of, yeah, not vulnerable. And so I certainly, uh, I certainly have seen people recognizing their limitations and reaching out for those supports as they need to and knowing how to do that. Our services are located temporarily at uh, 10721 Queen Street. It's, the, it's a building behind the Rona uh, hardware store. Um, if you're not sure how to get there or our hours, um, please call us at 780-791-6194 and we're happy to give you those directions.